the reason why we've chosen to install a screw turbine like this, it's kind of a win-win-win where we have upstream and downstream passage abilities, takes up little space, as well as producing electricity simultaneously. And what's really cool also is that it's the first one ever to be installed in Sweden. So here we see the screw turbine. Uh, we put it in this unique location because we see that fish are attracted to this section of the river because of the powerhouse. And so really we want to build and put as much flow and water into this area in order to attract fish to, so that they feel that they can move upstream as fast as possible. So as fish pass through the screw turbine, they're then deposited here. And once they're moving upstream again, they then go through this camera chamber that we have here below us. And in the camera chamber, we have a state-of-the-art technology, AI technology, where we're able to get an idea of the numbers of fish moving through, a species identification, the length of the fish, and if the fish has been tagged, then we are actually able to see how many times the fish has moved through this section of the river. Uh, but then we also have like the outlet there. So to understand the behavior as the fish are moving into this area close to the screw turbine, we want to put out these transmitters. We're putting these on each fish. And then we're also using receivers like this to listen for the fish as they move through this section of river. And from this data, we can understand where fish are attracted to, what areas they're deterred from and then it just in overall be able to understand how we can make the passage easier, safer for the fish and more effective. So here you can see a little bit the, the old nature-like fishway that was built over 20 years ago. And what's really cool about this project is we're actually able to compare the efficiency of the old nature-like fishway to the efficiency of the new screw turbine. And one of the biggest differences between them is just the amount of space that they take up. And so here you can see with the Nature Lake Fishway uh, compared to the new screw turbine that takes a lot less. And so that'll be a really cool, interesting aspect to look into in the study. So with this study, we're going to be evaluating the screw turbine over the next couple of years yeah. to see how well it works. And if it is working successfully, then we'll be able to uh, replicate this type of fish passage solution throughout other places in Europe.